Hey guys, it's Meme. And the trusty sidekick is walking down the hallway, coming back. He has to escape every now and then. He has to escape. Um, so we are back and it's the crafter after show. This is what I made in the crafter show. <laughs> so if you would like to take part in our punch art challenge party, do so. Go watch that video and then be a part of it. I can't wait to see what y'all make. I love punch art. It's so fun. So check that out. All right. We're going to be showing you some across the mop. Let me show you the letters first since we were talking about them while ago. So these are the clickable letters that are available. So there's these. These are, um, which ones are these called? <clears throat> I think those are the numbers and symbols. Where does it say that? No, oh, in the big letters right there. Numbers and symbols. This is this set. Okay. This is the... This is the lowercase, because I had to look at it and see, but this is the lowercase, and this is the uppercase, and like I said, these are the Ken Oliver ones. We've not had these before, but we found them, so we grabbed them, because we love them, and we wanted to have some. These are also Ken Oliver. These are called pegs, and these are symbol sets in a different font. So these are symbols in the papyrus font. Are I just called? thought they were cool looking, so I got them. Papyrus, right? Papyrus. I said it right? Okay. That did not want to work. I, I read. I read today. I read a word today. I'm so proud of me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so those are available. Don't forget to use Craft Month to get 20% off. And now my trusty helper over here is going to hand me things to show you guys. All right. So we've got some cards. Oh, it says, hope, hope this finds you well. Let's look at it. Oh, <laughs> look at this guy. Oh, there's a letter. Oh, is this from Nana? It is. Look how cute this guy is. He is a, look, watch. So this, okay, this slips into here. And then this slips into here. And he's like a little stand card. So Oops. <laughs> stand up, little guy. Look at that. And he is on a wobbler. This is a cute card, Nana. This is adorable. Very cute. That's so precious. I'm going to read that off camera. I feel like it might be an off camera read. Yes. Okay. So thank you so much. And this is, um, I want to say where Nana's from. Nana is in Pine Mountain, California. She does the cutest work. It's, uh, it's actually not Nana. It's Nina. I'm sorry. I just read that. It's Nina. I thought it was Nana from Tennessee, but it's not. It's Nina from California. I have to there get it right. Go. Look how cute. I love it. Oh, there's something covering this. Oh, I see. So, I'm going to keep that part covered. Lucky wishes to you from Nina. Isn't that cute? I love it. Thank you so much. That is adorable. This card says Isaiah 4110 has written, is written on the back. Look, it's too short to act normal. Oh, my gosh. Show your best funny face right here. That is cute. It's a little piece of foam. Um, So, you can... Um, I thought it was going to, like, make fun of me. Like, what is the one? Like, have you ever seen a monkey? Uh, like, you know, and then you open up, there's the monkey right there. That is so cute. Apparently, those clickable letters are already sold out. Oh, my goodness. Y'all don't be mad. This is from Dana Jackson. Just wanted to send you some Arizona sunshine f and fun. That's adorable. There's the Arizona sunshine in that yellow. That is so cute. I love it. Y'all are something else. Something else. All right, we got one more card. Sharon did ask a question. Can I ask you while you're opening? Yeah. She says, have you got any tips for old shaky folks for keeping the clickable straight when they're stamping? Um, If you want to, you could use like a... um. I'm trying to think how you could like do it with your Misty, but you really couldn't do it with your Misty. But you could put, like if you had a block or something, you could put down and then put it against that block. You know what I'm saying? Like anything. Kind of leverage it yeah, against like the block. Yeah, like make leverage out of it. <clears throat> um, or do what I did today and don't care. <laughs> I don't care. It's cute like that. You have to know that that's cute. I think, I mean, it's hard for me, but I think it's cute. It looks like he just kind of without his hands because he doesn't have any hands. Obviously, I didn't make him any hands. <laughs> So, look at this one. Thinking of you. I love this stamp set. It's so pretty. And this is Sending You a Smile from Jenny Evans. I've learned so much from watching your YouTube channel. Thanks. That's so pretty. Thank you so much. She did the bokeh. like the... I like that a lot. You have to make that sound effect, too. I bet she did. She's a professional. I'm sure she did. She knows. Barb from Canada said she loves your accent. <laughs> I don't I have an I accent, Barb. Please. She said... Well, she said your accent, so clearly she doesn't think I have one. We so. don't have accents. This is cute. It's a good day to be happy. Ooh. Oh, okay to read. 
Um, I just like to check. Okay. I don't know how to even begin to articulate what a blessing your channel and videos have been in my life these last few months since I discovered you. I just want to thank you for everything you do to bring so much joy to your community and to put positive spirituality into the world. I have included several cards for your card ministry. I know they are a little bit different than the cards I usually see you share on Across the Miles, but I hope they will still be of use and brighten someone's day, especially in these challenging times. Thank, thank you again and wishing you every possible blessing. Meg. I love this card, Meg. It's beautiful. Look. All right, so this is a sample. Wow, look at all these beautiful cards. Look at all that. She has done some work. Those are ones for us to send out? Yeah. Aren't cool. they beautiful? Wow, look at these. I'm going kind of quick because there's several. Oh, uh, no, that's it's too. That's a, that's lot. a lot. But thank you so time. much. These are great. Wow, those are amazing. These are great. Thank you, Meg. We appreciate these. Four more packs. There's four more packs like that in there. And what state is Meg from? Uh, Washington. Washington. Thank you so much for those. Those are incredible. For those of you who don't know, you want to tell them about the card ministry? Or are you up on it? You, you up can on tell it? them. Okay. Um, we have a card ministry. Here's what we discovered. I was telling somebody this other day, and I thought this is a good way to explain it. So we have a card ministry that started out being, I would make a card and I would send it out to somebody. And we would, and you still can get a card from me. You can send an email to maymayheartcards at gmail.com and you can still get a card from us. But what we discovered was you guys wanted to be a part of the ministry, but many of you didn't have anybody to send cards to. You wanted to make cards, but I didn't have enough people to send them out to. So I realized part of the ministry was giving you the opportunity to make cards. So what we do is we take your cards and we funnel them in lots of different directions to lots of different ministries. So Amber has all these folks that she talks to and sends out cards to. And we usually send out about 50 at a time. <clears throat> and recently we were told we needed um, thinking of you cards. Matter of fact, Miss Pam was here looking at the shop. She hadn't seen the shop yet. And she was here and we were talking about the card ministry because she gets cards from our card ministry and she sends them out to the people in our church. And she was saying she needed some thinking of you cards. So that's why you're seeing these now. We do a call out. And then when Amanda, I mean, when Amber tells us, wait, then we tell you guys, okay, that's enough for now. We're going to get those gone. And then we do another stash. And Amber does a great job of getting these out to you guys. And if you have a card ministry or want to start a card ministry, Maybe you want to start sending them to your church. Maybe you want to send cards to the nursing home. Maybe you want to send cards to friends. All you got to do is let us know, and we will put together a package and send to you so you can send them out to other people. So our card ministry kind of became a way for card makers to get to make cards and us find people. We don't only just do ministries we know. We also sometimes will partner up with people who are doing like soldier ministries or children's hospital ministries. We do all different kinds of things. And if you know of a ministry that needs cards, you can let us know that too. That was a lot. I said a lot. Okay, let's look at this one. Just a note. And I read it. It's okay. <laughs> Just a note to say, um, thanks from Keith and Susie Reedy. Now, no, I was thinking these were who were here the other day, but that uh -huh. was, this is them? They were here. I yeah. was thinking Mick Reedy, but they were Reedy. So they were here the other day. This is the couple that came in and they have the... Um, the Braille Bibles, they do Braille Bibles. So Vinnie and May made. we just wanted to let you know that our visit to your store was a highlight of our trip to Alabama. How sweet. You welcomed us like old friends and took time out of your busy day to make us feel right at home. Thank you so much. We both thoroughly enjoyed the time you, we spent with you. And Keith is not normally all that excited about shopping for craft supplies. He was so cute. Was he not? He was hilarious. Oh, yeah, such a nice guy. Please pray for us and for our ministry when you think about us. And thanks again, Keith and Susie Reedy. P.S. The card was made with tools and supplies. I bought I bought when I was there. That's cool. So this is the tulip set. Just a note. That's so cute. I'm gonna get this stuff she sent. Oh, let's check. Oh, oh wow, sent cool. some CDs. So um uh, Michelle Blue asked if we could wish her mom in heaven, Eleanor, a happy birthday. So well, absolutely. Happy birthday to your mom in heaven. Your mom is too busy partying. <laughs> Yeah. Your mom's with Jesus, girl. She's having a big old party. Look at this. So this is the um their flyer. Look, there's there's Cindy and Keith. Uh nope, right there. Look how cute. And this is their flyer about their ministry, but I want to get to that right there. And there's another flyer. By the way, Keith Keith really does have a great sense of humor. He was hilarious. Yeah. Um 
Cheryl asked, does arc glitter glue have an expiration date? It does. It kind of does. They tell us that normally shelf life is about a year. But if you, what I have seen, the older it gets, the thinner it gets. So you need to shake it up really, really well. And it will continue to work. Can y'all see the holes in this or the? It's Braille. Can you see? Yes. I know. Thank you. So I know you know what it is. I just if you was can telling see them. That. They might not yeah. can see it. It's Braille. It's a sampling of Braille. And I love that it's the alphabet. And it also, um, see, I thought that's not true. This is interesting. I thought you typed each letter, but it feels, this seems like there may be words. And they have a ministry where they do the, do the Bible cool. in Braille and send it all over the world. So this Very cool. is called Unshackled. This is called, oh, okay, so Keith was in music. Remember this? He was yeah. in, he played for, oh, he told us while he was here. Yeah, a lot of great folks. People we knew. Would, yeah. And this, Or names we recognize. Look, anyway. this is, these are his CDs he sent us. Y'all have to tell. So Keith is blind, but here's what was hilarious. He's, it's, I guess we asked him how they met or something, and he said, on a blind date. Yeah. And she's like, he loves that joke. <laughs> it was really good. And then look, out of love grew a ministry, for we walk by faith and not by sight. Jesus loves us. Jesus loves even us. Now, Oka says her big bottle, her 16-ounce bottle, she's been have, using it for two years, and it's still doing great. So. Wow, good, Naoka. This is neat. This is... um. I think this may be his testimony. Cool. Just from reading that first page. Let me see what this says right here. Yeah. I think so. This is cool. I'm looking forward to reading this. Thank y'all so much for this. Look at them on the back. They are so cute. So cute. They were Thank y'all so much. You were the sweetest. Oh. You were actually our second ever visitors to the store. Our first were the couple that came in the middle of the move. Bless their heart. Well, no, because uh, um, we had some oh. folks that were here the first day the store was open. That's right. I took from, that back. Uh, it was Trish Danner. Yep, Trish. Trish Danner was our first ever. So they were third. I think they were third. I've lost count now for sure. I haven't read all this, but I'll go and look. Wow. This is a beautiful card. Look at that blue and that silver together. It says, um... Dear May May Vinny and crew, congratulations on your new store location. So happy for y'all. I know you put in a lot of hard work. Please enjoy some C's from Sacramento, California. It was Hallelujah. nice meeting you last summer from Kelly Dominguez. P.S. few weeks ago, C's candy was brought up, and I thought someone said they liked it. They like the I mean, Scotch Mellows? We love C's candy. And it looks like she sent us like... Oh, my goodness. That's just a start. A oh whole box full my. of... Goodness. Candies. Look at this. Are these this, are these what we like? Are they called Scotch Mellows? I I'm opening know. this package. Open. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. Kelly, you shouldn't have. I bet this was expensive. Good night. She sent us peanut, peanut brittle. brittle. Okay, I'm not opening mm. this till I wash my hands. <laughs> like, it's in there. We'll get to it when I wash my hands. How about that? Like, don't open that lid. Yes, ma'am. Till we clean up. What are you trying to tell me? Just <laughs> Keep your grubby hands to yourself. Yeah, Jeremy. That's what she's trying to, trying to say you, with Jeremy. I'm trying to tell you, I'm sneaking this home, but I'm telling you that I'm going to wash my hands before you. <laughs> I can go to that sink right now. <laughs> Seize molasses chips. Molasses honeycomb crisp covered in milk chocolate. That's going to be some strong stuff right like there. That. Are we now? This is truffle. This is, no, this is an empty box. This goes home with me. Uh -huh. Just an funny. empty box. And then. And I do oh. want you to know that Amanda has already pointed out to me. That the note says, and staff. I didn't see that part. I told her I didn't hear nothing about no I and staff stuff. We're not done, y'all. More of the butterscotch. You're going to love, you love butterscotch. Oh, I do love butterscotch. And California brittle. <gasps> Get to picking it up, but you got a five-second rule here. No, we don't have a five-second rule that landed on her foot. <laughs> I don't care. Pick it up. We ain't going to throw it away. I'm not foot candy. I don't She's care. Calling. We'll live through it. I told you it was unwrapped. Okay, we don't do not worry. We're gonna eat it. Don't we have worry. Plenty of candy left. We'll sanitize the candy somehow. You can't sanitize a fish. We'll go. <laughs> God love you. Some of them are still in the wrapper. Oh, she can salvage some. Oh yeah, she's gonna salvage all of it. She's not gonna tell y'all what was salvaged, so you're gonna eat uh, whatever there is. No, Amber. 
Yes, I will save you some butterscotch. Amber, do you want some foot candy? <laughs> Does have clean feet. I'm still not eating foot candy. <laughs> I ain't scared of it. Oh my gosh, y'all! I'm just playing. It is sad, but a lot of it landed on the wrapper, so we're okay. Yeah. Hmm. It's my fault for unwrapping it, I suppose. Yeah. I'll blame me. Will. We'll blame me. I don't mind blaming me. I get blamed for stuff. Julie all the time. says that brittle is his is uh, Paul's favorite too. This Julie, thank you so much for my flowers. Did you see I posted on Instagram? Oh, they were beautiful. I yeah. didn't know who how to post that where you could see it. And I posted on Instagram, but I couldn't tag you because I realized I didn't follow you on Instagram because I don't know your Instagram handle. Long story short, I love my flowers. I still have them. Matter of fact, yesterday, what did I tell you? You want fresh flowers every day. Every day. I said, I I had no idea how much I would love having fre fresh flowers. I took them home. I did not leave them at work. I took them home. And um, thank you so I loved those flowers. I don't know if you got to see them. I hope you got to see the picture. But they're just, there were roses and there were like. George says candy can't be sanitized. She's with me. That's right. <laughs> Blow that stuff off and let's eat it. But um, I don't even know what all the flowers were in it. Like there was some little like, the purple ones were like little um, irises, but they were, I don't know flowers. The roses I recognized and the carnations, which I love carnations too. Anyway, thank you so much for those. I hope you saw my thank you. But <laughs> Bonnie said foot candy. <laughs> That's right. She loved that. Let me tell y'all something. My boys, they will eat anything. I have oh, to yeah. watch them. We ain't scared. I have to watch them. Okay. What did I have for today? We did that. We did that. I thought I, I had that's something. It. I thought I had something to update, but I guess I don't have anything to update today. I guess we're pretty good. Ugh. It was hair washing day, so it's real flat today. Um, <laughs> Amanda forgot about the fish. It's true. Everybody's telling, uh, reminding. Julie um, says she's just now setting up her Instagram, so watch for it. Okay, that okay. So, di but di so you didn't see my picture then. But thank you so much. I love it. I love it. Um, I still have them. I have to take the, like, some of them die faster than others. So I take those out so they won't suck the nutrients from the others. This is my brain. I don't think this is true. <laughs> I don't know if it's true. Y'all, some of that stuff about your brain, you need to keep to yourself. Well, here's what I think. don't think you're a nut job. If you're a dead, they already know me. If you're a it's dead true. flower in the vase, but you're, say you're only half dead, but you're not pretty anymore. And you still drinking some of the water. It's kind of not fair for those of them that are still kind of pretty and needing that water. So I ho I'm hoping you don't apply that to people. I don't. Just flowers. I would I never mean, apply that There's a lot of people. us that are getting out of shape and old. and It's like, it's you like sucking up too water. much water. I'm <laughs> sucking up too much water. I'm going to find myself, you know. No, I really do think. I don't know this to be true. In the grave. I don't know this to be true. But I'm like, I probably need to take some of those flowers out that are, you know, not, not seeing their best day. So I've been pulling out the bad ones as they go. Miss Jones said. Because I didn't point this out. There were lots of compliments on your hair today in the first. I have a three second dog. Amen. <laughs> yeah. The weenie dogs ain't here because if it, it, it would have been sucked up faster than anything. I'm, I'm going to put this on podcast real quick. <clears throat> I have a question for you guys. Oh, it's a messy room in here, y'all. It's all right. It's messy. It smells like Mexican food. Do, uh, can dogs eat potatoes? <laughs> That's my they question. They clearly can. I'm cutting up potatoes the other night to make dinner, and one of them falls on the floor. Well, then I didn't think anything about it. It hit the floor. I knew it was bad. I kept doing my thing. Don't don't shame me. It's my kitchen, right? Don't shame me. So next thing I know, little Darcy's in there eating a potato in the floor. Not quickly either. Almost like, you ever given your child a Brussels sprout and said you have to eat one? Yeah. Almost like that. And I thought to myself. Like she really didn't want to eat it, but she was. You don't have to eat that. You can let that go. I guarantee you the cooked ones, they didn't have no problem eating. I don't, did they get some? They did, yeah. Oh, that was That's your fault then. Yeah. They're good at getting your leftovers. Um, oh, yeah, they're going to get mine most of the time. Most of because I don't usually have leftovers. <laughs> can you feel me? <laughs> I don't usually have them. But it was so funny because I was like, you don't have to eat that. You literally could let me throw that away. But she would eat it and look at me like I was making her eat something awful. And I'm like, I did not give you that. Not for a bit. So can they have them? Um, colorful Dimension Susan said, yes, I okay. have seen potatoes in the veterinary dog food, uh -oh, cook, including not raw. rice. She's still doing fine, by the way. But yeah. I didn't realize Look, she had gotten it. Our dogs have rot gut stomachs. They ain't they nothing. They, they good. 
Um, I didn't realize she had gotten it till I looked in there, and she'd already like nibbled on over half of it. And I'm going, she literally looked like Jared when I was making me broccoli. <laughs> You know that look he would go where he wouldn't really close his mouth? Y'all have seen this look, your parents, right? This one. Where their teeth can't actually go together because if they do, they're really biting it. Or you could do the the Joseph thing. <laughs> <laughs> like he's going to gag trying to eat it. Too funny. Oh, your husky loves raw potatoes. Listen, our girls, I've... I'm going to tell y'all this. I'm not telling you to do this, but my girls have gotten into everything. Like, weenie dogs know you have it before you get home with it. Do they not? Did we tell y'all about, um, did we tell about the time it was, was it Christmas time when I bought all those treats for the girls? And this was uh, Trixie. Oh, yeah, this that was, was Trixie. just Trixie. That wasn't the rest of them. Not the rest we of them, but this the was Trixie. Yeah, we only had Trixie. And I for Christmas... I spoil my dogs at Christmas. They, I don't, we don't give a lot of treats throughout the year, like treats, because usually they don't set well with them. And I've gotten kind of nervous about them. So I don't really give a lot of treats. But um, at Christmas, I would go to TJ Maxx and they always had those treats that looked like cupcakes or cookies or, but they were for dogs, right? Well, they had this one that was, um, I bought two or three of those. And then I bought another bag of something and I bought a bag of peanut butter treats. Well, I came in with the bag. It was a big TJ Maxx bag. I sat it down on the bottom of the stairs, and I was like, I'll get back to that later. Probably three weeks later, since I don't know that's how I am. So I go I go about my business, and Trixie got left out while we were gone. We kennel train our dogs. So they kennel when we're not home, um, or they kennel and they sleep in their kennel, yada, yada. So she did not get kenneled up when we left, which could happen from time to time. So we come home to that TJ Maxx bag being ripped to shreds. And every one of those packages is ripped open. Now, she didn't eat them all. She couldn't. That's not who she was. She didn't eat them all. But the one she didn't open was the peanut butter treat. She opened everything but that one bag. And I thought, well, I guess she don't like those. That dog could smell anything through anything. Tell about your beef jerky. Oh, yeah. Because I used to, when we were low carbon so much or any time, because I love jerky, I would keep jerky in my briefcase. And she literally figured out how to unzip my briefcase. And get in it and pull the beef jerky Which bag I'm grateful out. for because she could have chewed your briefcase open. Oh, no. She just unzipped it she somehow. unzipped it and got in there and took out an open, I mean, an unopened package of beef jerky. Their noses are incredible. I'm sure all dogs are. By the way, Amos's legs are getting shorter. No, they're not. Yes, they are. He's just getting fat. Our Golden Lab's legs are getting shorter. He's getting old and fat. Nope, his legs are getting He's shorter. He's like his daddy. I told him that yesterday. I said, Amy, your legs are getting shorter. And he appreciated that I understood the issue, but his daddy said, no, he's just eating too much. <laughs> yep. Oh, her doxy loved cucumber. I haven't Look, tried I that. I don't anything I put down there. No, not true. They do not like tomatoes. Uh, I don't now, remember ever trying to give them tomatoes. But. If, the, if it has something on it, they might. But they won't eat plain tomatoes. And they won't eat... Um, there's another vegetable they don't touch. We just got a couple cards in. I guess that came in while they were... Yeah, she just got the mail. Amanda went and got the mail. So, gnome sweet gnome. That's appropriate for... Look how cute. Congrats on your new home. Look, she used the gnome stamp. Uh -huh. How cute. Much love, luck, and happiness in your new location. Marion Klingerman. Thank you so much. That is so cute. I love that one. And for Vinny, let's see what this is. Are these readable? Um, yeah. Okay, let's see. This looks like you were being invited to... Mm, are you being invited? Let's see. Or she's telling you a story. Yeah. My late husband loved hunting and fishing as you do. We lived along the south shore of Lake Superior, about 15 mm. miles from Duluth. We were privy to have deer, bear, porcupines, skunks, foxes, eagles, waterfowl crossing our field and even visiting our yard. Every year he would bring home... What's that say? Oh, Okay, remember that they, they can't see what you've got. That's okay. Because you've got us on. I'm reading it. Um, every year they would bring home an injured animal like fawns, fox, baby skunks, crows, etc., which we would nurture back to help health. Fishing in the lake in Lake Superior brought forth um what is that right there? I don't see it. Kohe. I don't know. Kohe or coho salmon, lake trout, Brule River and others were home to walleye muskie, musky, mon mm -hmm. musky? musky. rainbow trout, etc. He was raised in the dairy farm. We turned it into a 
they want you to change the camera settings. Hefford Farm. Hefford? A Hefford Farm? I'll change it in just a second. He got his master's degree in chemistry, math, and physics. Holy cow. God hold, called him home at age 45, just four and a half months after he, after I had admi admitted him to the hospital on his birthday. Our children were nine, seven, and I was 34. I ran the herd for almost three years. My husband's down-to-earth nature was gratitude to God for the natural environment and thankful and thanking God for the gift of food from lake and, and from the lake and forest. I live in a small lake in northwest Wisconsin now with deer and other critters visiting them. I trust you will share the cards with whom will appreciate them. I have other photos of deer that visit me, and so I shall send you more blessings from Mar Marlene Storm. I hope I got your name right. That's oh, a sweet cool. story about your yeah. husband. Um, what's in here? Oh, she took you photos. The, the, I'm going to. She took photos from her yard and made a ca made cards. Everybody wants to see them. She took photos from her yard and made these cards. Look at that. That's a pretty deer. Look at oh, that yeah. one. Good healthy doe. Look at that dark one. Yeah. Those it's just are so the pretty. Snow. So these are for the ministry. You know what else? I'm pretty sure that's a photograph die cut. I think she just took like a, that's kind of neat. You know, you could do that with like, if you have overexposed photos or something, it'd be kind of cool to do that. And this tree, I think she drew on. Too cute. Thank you so much for those. There's more from her also though, I believe. Isn't this from her yeah, also? Oh, and these are cards for the ministry as well. Oh, look, photos of flowers. Oh, that one's so pretty. Look at those. That next one's gorgeous too. Oh, I love that. Look at that. That makes me want to go ride in the woods. I almost asked you to yesterday. Let's uh, do it today. We'll go this afternoon. Let's do it today. Okay, there's that. Would y'all want us to do an Insta story from riding in the woods? I bet we found a snake. Thomas found a snake the other day. Oh, look how cute these are. They're the, um, have you, have you seen these? I should have shown you these so we could have got them in store, but they're the uh, twist ties. It's the weenie dogs. They're sending you a teeny weenie hug. That's cute. And love is spoken here. Here's a letter. Did you look at it? I did. I found your YouTube channel a while back when hunting how to make a bow. Don't, don't remember what I first saw, but I do remember feeling like I walked into an old friend's home. How sweet is that? You, Vinny, and your family and staff are such a blessing. Love in Christ. Pat Simpson? Is that Pat? What's on the envelope? P.S. Had to send the stamps. Enjoy. I love those. Thank you so much. You're going to have to get these because they're going to want them. But they're the, um, they're two little stamps. They twist together and then there's a die for cutting them out. Isn't that cute? Cool. That's adorable. Thank you so much. I love Winnie Dogs. I love Winnie Dogs. Um, Will you show that first card again? Cause, the one they didn't get to see? Yeah. yeah, they didn't get to see it. This, you guys, I don't know. I think y'all probably know this, but we try to read the letters because sometimes I have, I have accidentally before been reading a letter and it got personal and we were live. So I don't ever do that anymore. So I make sure if something doesn't say that it's okay to read it, that we've already read it. So that's why I always ask because uh, it's embarrassing when you tell somebody's information you ain't got no business wow, telling. Wow, said that she had a four foot corn snake in her yard curled up in a ball. Y'all, they're early. Yeah. They are early. Four foot. Four foot's a big corn snake. That's a big one. Yeah. Don't you think? Shannon's like she had to quarantine herself. I don't like them. Thomas said that um, he was leaving the house. He said, by the way, saw a snake. I'm like, already? He's like, yeah. He said, y'all need to know. Be watching. He said, he was just a black snake. He said, but um, came out on the road right in front of him and then went right back. What does that say? Oh, it's the warm weather, weather bringing him out. It probably is. Yeah. Uh, we've had some really nice warm weather. Yesterday was a beautiful day. I spent a lot of time on the back porch. Loved it. I'm I'm regretting it today because of pollen. Wow, is the pollen out? Are y'all getting that? Because oh my goodness, the pollen. Your truck. I followed Vince this morning. I had to take his truck to get his tires fixed. Oh, yeah. Your truck it's is red, just green. Oh yeah, and just I green. just washed it a couple of days ago. It is green. I'm gonna take it through the car wash again uh, today. Keep the snakes down, South. Karen said, "Do y'all not have them? Y'all have them." Right. Y'all have them, right? Y'all have snakes. They have bears and cougars. It's a little different. We have bears in Alabama. In the woods. In the mountains. Yeah. We have a little tiny uh, bit of mountains. Connie not really. said, may I pray for all of us mamas having to homeschool. Y'all. Some of my favorite memes <laughs> <laughs> have been, 
saw my neighbor in her driveway peeling the my child is a star student at such and such, you know, peeling that bumper sticker off. Yeah. And then people there, who's the woman? My mother sent me a video of a lady who was praying and telling God that she is not a homeschool teacher. Like she was asking for strength. I can't imagine. I'm going to tell you something. I thought about this. I'm in such a good position because I, Joseph is 15. No, he's 16 now. He does his own work. He knows exactly what he's doing. He's, I don't have to help him anything. But if this was 10 years ago, this would be a whole different ball of wax. Oh, yeah. I feel for you guys because Josh and I did not do homework well together. I cannot no. imagine doing schoolwork together. because you don't think like Josh. No, I do not think like I Josh. I had to help Josh because I think like Josh. And, I, and uh, I also saw a meme that said, I don't care what your teacher says, you're carrying that one. <laughs> yeah. I love that one. Yeah. I loved it. No, I, I'm just telling y'all. Judy I'm, Smith said they still have two foot of snow. No pollen issues there. Where are you at, Judy? Because I saw somebody else with snow. Y'all can't imagine the pollen here. I, If we go for a ride today, I'm sure I'll be able to show you because um, the pollen, it's, I don't know if it's early or not. Does it just feel early? I mean, it's March. Yeah, I saw one of the manuscripts talking about uh, expelling a kid from homeschool or, you know, <laughs> detention. My favorite is, uh, I think it says something like, when is this quarantine over? My husband, my husband keeps trying to get in the house or something like, when is, I don't know. My husband does not understand the six foot rule. With other people, he does. But with me, he doesn't. I'll go six. He's like, that does not apply to me. No, six feet. No, I don't care nothing about that six foot rule. <laughs> I cannot imagine you folks that have, uh-oh. Viola says, I have a snake skin left outside my door three foot long. You have a cat? Is she bringing you a present? Because they'll do that, you know. Yeah. Yep. Seven inches of snow two days ago. Today is above 50 degrees. Michelle, uh, y'all are funny. Bobby said, "I just laugh at those because I homeschool every day." That's so funny. I have a um, well, she's my ex hairdresser, not for any reason except she's in a different city than me, and she used to work for us at our hair salon. And her grandmother, her mother, homeschooled all her grandkids. So what they did was all the siblings brought their children to her grandmother to her mother every day. And she taught them in their classroom every day. That was their school. I thought that was really nice. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Dale Lewis said, my favorite is the parent whose child brought home the <laughs> classroom hamster for the weekend. You would be so mad if that happened to us. Oh, yeah. Oh, you would not be able to handle it. That was like when Jared had to bring home the baby, you know, the battery operated Tell baby because he had to take care of it. He could have wrote a paper, okay? He could have wrote a little simple paper, or he had to bring home a baby for the weekend that he had to take care of. Which one did he choose? He brought the baby home. Which is so Who not took care of the baby? That would be me. I was not happy. Tell him what happened. Well, the baby was sitting on Jared's pillow. Next to him. In next the bed. to his head. I mean, literally. Inches away from his ears, screaming. The alarm was going off and that the baby downstairs. needed to be held. I was downstairs asleep in my bedroom, and it was loud enough that it woke me up. I had to go with upstairs. With your CPAP on. You oh, yeah, with my CPAP on, machine on. still could hear it. Woke me up. I went upstairs, and he was snoring. <laughs> now, I mean, I'm talking about that thing was screaming in his ear. And it was one he of those, was sound asleep. It was one of those you had to put the key in its back and hold it until oh, it stopped. Oh, yeah. Oh, my Lord. I was not happy. So he woke Jared up and made him do it. It was so funny. Look, I didn't hear it. Hey, CEO, you have a good, buddy. You take care of Miss Julie. <laughs> I didn't hear it. I'm though. waving back. So I talked to my mom this week. I wanted to tell y'all this because I really want this to happen, but I don't know if it can happen. But my mama, things happen to my mom that no one will believe actually happened to her. And she called me this week to tell me about decorating her porch for Easter. And that's the funniest story I've, I've heard in a long time. So I was talking to Shannon. I said, Shannon, we need to do a segment called Phone Calls with Mom or something like that, where mom calls me and we maybe, I don't know, record it or something for you guys to hear it. And she tells me the stuff that is happening. <laughs> she, uh, y'all can't listen. I'm going to tell you how the call started. 
She glued her hand to her broom. This is how this started. <laughs> That's the is call. This is one of them stories. She glued her hand to her broom. Do you know when she found out she glued her hand to her broom? I when guess she when she tried to, to sit it down. Go. When she tried to put the broom down, she realized she had glued it to her hand. That <laughs> then <laughs> this story has this. It has a, a broom glued to her hand. She might have poisoned herself. <laughs> She, she I will licked Goo Gone. The time Wait, that... listen to the story. She licked Goo Gone. A lizard attacked her, and she tried to do an arts and craft project with tongs for hands. This is all in one story. <laughs> and you've always said she's the anti craft. She is the anti craft. That is her. But she, we were on the phone. Listen, I was taking your parents their groceries. Okay. I pull up in their driveway. She started to, I probably sat in their driveway for 25 minutes laughing at my mother tell me how, what it took to decorate her front porch. And I'm telling y'all, y'all, you would not believe these things could really happen, but they do happen to her. Yeah. I had her y'all tell Shannon about some cold stuff. water would wake them up. That, that reminded me of something because I, I slept pretty solid when I was a kid too. And I had to stay at my Aunt Dot's house. I think my parents were out of town on a business trip or something with my dad's work. And she used to have a bottle that she froze every night. And when she couldn't get me out of the bed, she'd just raise the covers and roll that bottle of frozen water in the bed with me to help me wake up. It she, always worked. She should have told me that. I've been married to you 22 years. I could have known that. Yeah, but I didn't want to torture my kids with that. Cause no, I, I don't need it for the kids. I need it for you. The kids are fine. <laughs> okay. Not really. Uh, somebody said, I hope he's not like that. Now he's got two kids. No, he ain't like that now. He's a good daddy. He is a good daddy, but he might sleep through crying. Who knows? No. I can't. Samantha ain't going to let him sleep through I can't crying. sleep through crying. That's true. That's true. Y'all. Oh, you're right. Miss Edna needs her own sitcom. I'm telling you. Yeah, I'm telling you, it would, it would go. She told Shannon the story. <laughs> I don't want to tell y'all because I want her to do I want to do it with Mama. I she, think You need to have her in one if Thursday. If we could do like a Zoom call. And let her do it. No, if we could do like a Zoom call where I put, put her on one side of the screen, me on the other, and then her just tell y'all the stories. Y'all just wouldn't believe. She told Shannon the story about when she decided she wanted to replace her shelf liner in her bathroom and how that turned into a five-hour ordeal. Oh. Look, she wanted to replace the shelf liner in her bathroom, and it turned into needing a Band-Aid and also ruining an entire outfit of clothes. Ruining it. Bleaching an entire outfit of clothes. <laughs> Linda says, is her name Lucy? Y'all, no, she does this right by herself. She don't have help. No one gets it's just mama. It ain't Lucy and Ethel. She it's just her. cracks me up. And I'm telling y'all, Earl. y'all would you wouldn't believe it. I told her I said you can't we can't do it live. She's like, why? I said, because I don't know what you might say. Mama don't say bad stuff. No. But I'm like, we can't do, can it do it live. live. We'd have to record it. I I really Amber would said like to do May it. May as, and Edna podcast. I would like to do it as a podcast and just ha- and us just talk about things. But the thing is this. I think Her what, best stories are what she did to you to torment you as a child. That's what's wrong with me now. The thing about Mama, though, that I think people, this is what scares us. We've always wanted to do that. But what's, what scares us in that is Mama and I have a very different sense of humor. And you guys might listen to our stories and not think it's as funny as we think it is. Because, like, Vince doesn't think it's funny. Like, no, I think now it's those cruel stories, and unusual. Those, those stories about Mama is funny. Yeah. But stuff we find funny, like, so we do this, and if you have a friend you can do this with, do this, okay? In the text messaging this is of your phone. One of them things that you probably shouldn't share no, with this the is public. Funny. In the text messaging on your phone, you have the ability to send a GIF or a GIF. I don't know how to say it. No one's ever definitively told me a way. It's a G-I-F, a GIF, or a GIF. And it's one of those little video things, right? You have the ability to do this. So mom and I will start a conversation, and she'll send me a little GIF <laughs> about it. To the point that we're not Just using words anymore. Just break your phone out and show I'm them the last one. I'm using my phone up there for Oh, filming. yeah, sorry. To the point that we're not even using words anymore. We're just sending gifts back as an answer to the last one. And we will do this all night long. Our conversation will start at like 6 o'clock. And by 10 o'clock, she'll go, okay, it's bedtime. Send me some kind of gift, right? I told her this the other day. I said, then the next day, Mother, I will go through and watch it again just just to relive the funny conversation Look, and laugh my head off. If y'all just knew what it was like at my house at night when they're doing this, <laughs> I'll be trying to watch TV, and she'll be over there just hooting. <laughs> I mean, she's just rolling on the couch laughing. 
<laughs> the other night we did one and somehow we got to talking about Thomas and she sent obviously an Elvis gift or something. And I had to show Thomas we were talking about him. And we even sometimes make our own memes. Like we'll take pictures that we've taken that are funny pictures. And, you know, she'll send me that one of her passport photo. Mm -hmm. And then sometimes I'll send her pictures. And I had a funny picture of Thomas and I used it on her. And it was so funny. Y'all, we think we're hilarious. That's what we say all the time. We yeah. think we're hilarious. They Nobody really else will think, think it. Are. But we think we are hilarious. So uh, Naoka said, it's just mama would be the great name for that series. It's just mama. That's how it is. It's her. Um, it's just Earl. But That's the thing what I'd is, you'd it. have to know that we think things are funny that some people don't think are funny. We just do. Yeah. I mean, you don't think anything we think is funny is funny. No, because y'all laugh at some stupid stuff. He thinks And then that. you say, I don't have a sense of humor. You and the don't. stuff I laugh at, you don't even think is funny. <laughs> I'm just like. That's not true. We the other day we laughed together at something. Oh, when I got you with the joke. Oh yeah, you. How got have me. you not mentioned that? That well, was so it was good. Because humiliating, and I didn't want to bring it up. It's not humiliating. It was so good. <laughs> it was good. Here, let's you do it. Me. Let's reenact it. I can't. We're gonna reenact it. I can't reenact it. Re just tell it. the story. No, let's reenact it. Ready? Ready, y'all? This is good. Brace yourself, Vince. Did those turkeys you killed today? Did they have a matter, baby? A, a, a what? A matter, baby. What's a matter, baby? Nothing, sugar. I'm fine. How are you? Y'all, yeah. I read that on Facebook, and we were in our house. Vince was doing his thing. I was doing my thing. Vince goes, he walks by, and I said, hey, babe. And I actually said that to him. Those turkeys you got today, did they have a matter, baby? And he stopped, and he looked at me, and he said, a what? Just like I said, a matter, baby. And he said, What's the matter, baby? And I was so excited. I said, nothing, sugar. Everything's fine. How's it with you? And he laughed out loud because I, I got him. You got Okay. Me. So then I decided I'm good at this. First off, I'm terrible at this. I can't believe it even worked. So I decided I'm going to get Joe. Yeah. So Joe comes out of his room, which is rare. Three times a day he comes out. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner. <laughs> That's what we tell him all the time. Although, I remind me tell him about vitamins, vitamin D. So... Joe comes out of his room. I said, hey, Joe, did you eat one of the Matter Babies? And he went, no. And I said, you didn't eat a Matter Baby. He said, no, I had a fudge ramp. <laughs> so <he> said, <laughs> I said, Joseph, you are no fun. He's like, what? And I said, a Matter Baby. He said, I did not eat one. <laughs> yeah, he didn't even get it. He never I mean, he, he thought he we was, really. He thought he was in trouble for eating a Matter Baby. <laughs> What's a Matter like, Baby? No, I, he, I ate a fudge ramp. He never asked me what a matter baby was so i couldn't get him and then i i tried it on thomas but it didn't work on thomas either how did i try it on thomas i don't know i can't remember how michelle I did blue thomas. said my honey and i ate canned chinese food for the first time in 20 years and laughed so hard what is canned chinese food i, I, I want to know, know. I, I, oh i know what you're talking about you're talking about remember the the two cans that came together you opened one and mixed it with the other is that what you're talking about Miss Michelle. You got to tell me, Michelle, because I used to, I always wanted to try that, but we never had it in our house. Y'all, try the Matter Baby on everybody and let me know if you can do it. <laughs> like, come back to this video and comment if you got people with Matter Baby, because I want to know. It was my favorite. Let me tell you about vitamin D. So, yesterday. Look, this is the last humiliating family story. This, so This ain't humiliating Joe. He don't care. Joe don't no, care. No, Joe don't care. Listen, yesterday, Joe came out of his room, and I'm like, Joe, you've been in this house too long. Okay. And I said, you got to get some vitamin D. And he went, what? I get vitamin D all the time. I drink milk, blah, blah. I said, no, you got to get some vitamin D. So I said, come on, we're going outside. Chung King. Remember that? Chung King. Remember that Chinese food? I said, we're going outside. So we go outside and you know how a mama is. Okay. This was not intended, but he thinks it was. We go outside and I go, okay, staying in the sun. So he gets on the porch. He's staying in the sun. And I said, oh, this porch needs sweeping. Now, he thinks that I did this on purpose, but I didn't, okay? I said, this porch needs sweeping. And he went, that's why we're out here, isn't it? And I said, no. And he's like, you want me to sweep this porch, don't you? I said, no. I said, go grab me the broom. I'll do it. So he goes and gets the broom, and he comes back out because I had the dogs with me. So he goes and gets the broom, and he comes back out, and I start sweeping. And he tries to go back inside. I said, oh, no, buddy, you need vitamin D. Stand in the sun. So I made him get out there and stand in the sun for a second. And then I started sweeping. And then I did need his help with something. So I said, here, come move this. He said, this is an elaborate ploy to get me to help you do this, right? And I'm like, it's not, I promise. And before, and it really wasn't. But before it was over with, we had sprayed down our lawn furniture with cleanser. We had rinsed it off. We had redone the porch, blah, blah, blah. And he went, 
I know you planned this. And I said, I promise I didn't. It was really just to get you some vitamin D. But you know how mamas are. Mamas see something and they go, we got to do this right now. Yeah. It's true, isn't it? Everything else in the world has to stop. <laughs> but we got vitamin D. It's that way here, too. I can be in it the middle is. of something and you're like, Benny, Benny. And you won't stop yelling until I come down here. This is not true. First off, I do not yell. Well, you have to yell for me to hear you. I'm on the other side of the no, building. No, I don't. You think we do. I hear you today. I heard you down there today talking about me. I even told Josh. I heard Shannon ask you a question, and Josh was sitting here editing over across the room, and I said, here's his answer, and I told him, and you said it word for word, yep. and he said, Mom, you, I said, babe, I'm not new to this Vinny game. I know this dude. I know exactly what he's going to say. <laughs> anyway, oh, a spam sandwich. I love spam. Is that wrong? It's, I don't have it. I haven't had spam. When's the last time we had spam? I don't know. I don't know that we've ever had spam. Yeah, we did early on in our marriage. I don't, I've never been a big spam fan. I like spam. I like potted meat and slice vein of, spam, of sausage. Slice of spam. Now I do remember when Pineapple I was young and barbecue sauce. Good. That that's weird. Good. That my I want to say one of my grandmothers used to slice spam and, and fry it in the skillet. So good. Like so it, like fried bologna. It was good. So good. Look. Oh yeah. I remember. Look, when we were growing up, we didn't have no money. We got food, right? We would take the Spam. Have you ever seen on the Spam um, can? Spam rice and seaweed? Oh, yeah. that That's, um. oh, what's it called? In in China or Japan, it's called, oh, there's a name for it. <laughs> nigori? Not Nigori. Am I getting it right? I don't remember. There's a name for that. Listen, do you remember, you won't remember this, but back in the day. <laughs> I almost on, said, what is potted meat? It's not something you want to try. <laughs> back in the day. On the spam can, on the back of it, it yeah. showed that you opened the spam can and you pulled it out. You know, it's gelatinous and it would just plop on the, you probably don't know that. Yeah, did. I do. And they would show you, listen, I'm not making this up. They showed you that you should grid it with a knife. You know how you used to do ham? How you'd make a grid on a ham and then poke cloves in it? They yeah. did that with the spam. They would put the cloves in it and put a glaze on it and then bake it in the oven and pretend like it was actual ham. Mm. I never did that. Another thing that's delicious was spam. You take spam, you slice it for your sandwich. You put fried bologna gravy. Look, you put barbecue That's sauce on it. You put barbecue sauce on it. You put bread on it. You put it in the Connie microwave. Says she think it's called puke. You're ignoring me. <laughs> I am. I'm trying to read the chat. People are going by fire. Listen, spam, barbecue sauce, white bread, microwave for about ten seconds. Just enough. Just get get the bread all soft and gooey. It's good. I'm sorry. It's good. No one should eat it. It's terrible for you, but it is good. <laughs> on a gear. On a geary. On now, a geary. Karen, I, I, you can say spam is nasty, but then in the next breath, you can't say potted meat with mustard is good. You, you can't, you, that's just, no, you just can't do that. That's like saying, I don't eat south meat, but give me some spam. It's probably yeah. the same thing, right? Yeah. Hey, y'all, if you don't know what potted meat is, is this a Southern thing, potted meat? Is it? I don't know. It might be a Southern thing. Here, I didn't <laughs> know this. So my dad told me one time I had to make his lunch for him. And he liked potted meat sandwiches for lunch. Yeah. So I went to make them. Well, I did not know you were supposed to mix a pot of meat with like mayonnaise to soften it up. So I just tried to spread it on the bread. You know it's not spreading. It's like hard butter, right? It wouldn't spread. So he said, he told Mama, my lunch today was hard rounds of potted meat in the middle of white bread sandwiches. <laughs> I didn't know. Um, Y'all, I know we eat some weird stuff. Yeah. Donna Joe's will get sick to her stomach. Not till you've tried it. Don't knock it till you try Bologna it. Bologna ground up with mayo and relish. Interesting. Okay. That has a name too. So, um, and I wanted to tell y'all this. I wanted to give y'all some stuff. They say it's in New York too. So listen, there's a channel and I like to Beth watch. Said spam is very popular in Hawaii. Yes, it is. It is a popular thing. Okay. Listen, there's a channel I like to watch called Emmy Made in Japan. Emmy, it's E-M-M-I, Emmy Made in Japan. And she will do, what I love about her channel, don't say it yet, she'll do like recipes from times of food scarcity or she'll do recipes from the 50s and the 70s and things like that that use a lot of mayonnaise and Miracle Whip and stuff like that. I love watching her. And she just recently did the bologna with the with the mayonnaise and the, and the dill relish. Y'all look it up, Emmy Made in Japan. Y'all watch her channel. It's really good. Hold on. I'm going to try to type it in. so I Because I didn't tell anybody I was going to be telling y'all about it today. There's another channel I got to tell y'all about that y'all have to go watch. I have been finding channels for us. 
Emmy made in Japan. Barb typed it. Thank you. I have been finding channels channels for us. Another channel you have to watch. <laughs> I'm not trying to yell. I didn't know my um. What? Catwalks was on. Jackie said in Hawaii, McDonald's has spam on the menu. Come on now. My dad would be in heaven. Okay, listen. You need to go watch this little guy and his family. You need to subscribe to him. You're going to love him. He lives in Iowa. His name is Cole. C-O-L-E. They have a family farm where they raise corn and soybeans. Okay? But the cool thing about Cole is... He inherited his grandfather's 117-year-old home, and he has been. And his grandfather was a hoarder. His grandfather was born in the Depression, and so he wouldn't get rid of anything. And so he has spent like a year. And there's video. Y'all can watch all of this. You're gonna love me for this. You can watch the whole series of him cleaning out his grandfather's 117-year-old home, getting it ready for him to move into it, and also the running of the farm. And it is so interesting. I'm not a farm girl. I, I, My grandfather had a farm. That's how they had their money, but I never did that. But it is so interesting to watch. And he's so smart. He's a finance major. And he, his dad is like really good at the farm stuff. He's really good at numbers, which fascinates me, right? And he'll sit there and go, I can tell, he can literally tell you how much this acre or two or 10 made last year this acre not his hundreds of thousands of acres mm -hmm. like he can literally tell you what each acre made you need to watch him here's his channel okay it sounds funny listen it's just because it's funny all right it's called cole c-o-l-e the corn c-o-r-n star their farm is called corn star farms and i think their grandfather i don't know they've had this name for a while but you've got to go watch his channel cole the corn star he is great you're going to love him sweet little boy he's a believer if you're a believer and you and you like that his little family is the cutest thing um they have it's cole he has a brother named cooper and his dad they call him daddy corn star look mindy already knew it before i said it it's the best channel go watch it i'm trying to find y'all some channels to watch because i know that you're kind of bored <laughs> so you're gonna love it when and listen he's got like 270 some odd thousand subscribers like Way more than me. But go subscribe. <laughs> like, go subscribe to him. He's great. Um, they have a dog and a cat. You'll love them. You'll love them. I already taught y'all about, um, I already taught y'all about Hercules Candy. You need to watch Hercules Candy. And then who else was I telling you? Didn't I tell you about another channel the other day that I really was liking? Told you about Cole. About Cole. I you love Cole's channel. Cole, yeah. It's great. He is so good. Um, I think that's all right now. If I come up with another one, I'll tell you. But y'all need to go watch him because he is great. It gives it gives you something to do. Plus, he's got he's been doing videos. I think two years or something. So he's got a lot from. And the house is incredible. This house is like four stories. I don't know. It's huge. He cleaned out the basement. He cleaned out. It's amazing. Y'all need to go watch the channel. I can't say enough. I love him. All right, you better wrap it up. Yes, I want to go eat my lunch. I'm hungry. Um. We're going to pray today. I need to ask a special favor for you. You got from you. You guys know that Rainy, who is my paparazzi jewelry representative, is very special to us and our family and even, you know, our extended family because all she does for us, she's awesome. So I'm going to ask you guys to do me a favor. Her sister is in the hospital in California. And as of yesterday, it didn't look good. And you might have heard earlier when Renee mentioned it, I was afraid that Renee had gotten an update and I didn't want to get an update live. And Renee hadn't gotten an update, and I've messaged her since and everything. But um, I need you to be praying for Rainey's sister um, that she will come through. Um, I do not know her sister's name. I didn't, I didn't even ask that question. I just started trying to help Rainey. And I don't know that there's a way. To, and, and also, at the same time, Rainey's husband has been, um, I don't know if it's called laid off, but he can't work, so he can't get paid. And so... They have, she's got so much on her plate. And I know so many of you watching today are in the same boat and we are praying for you. Um, and I want to encourage you guys to get something else too. I'll tell you in just a second, but please be praying. Is it? Okay. There it is. Desiree. Renee, I just didn't want to hear anything live. I, that's all. I, I messaged you, by the way, check your Facebook messages. Um, but please be, please be praying for Desiree and for Rainy and Desiree has children. It just be praying for that whole situation. Um, and also her husband, Randy. They all need prayer. And and also, 
be praying for everybody as we all go through. This is a journey we've never taken together. And so all of us are learning new different things about ourselves. And and uh, some of us are finding out we have anxiety. Like I'm hearing from you guys. I didn't know I dealt with anxiety. Well, this is something you wouldn't have known you dealt with. You know, this is something new. So let's be remembering everybody. And I want to tell you about an app I found that has been amazing for me. I'm typing the name of it. It's called Prayer Minder. I'm loving this app. You know how you'll say to somebody, I'm going to pray for you, and you mean it. You mean that you will, but when it's time to go pray, you forget. Or you also understand that we're supposed to be in constant prayer. You know, we should always be in prayer. This Prayer Minder app, which I haven't shown you yet, you're going to love it. You load it up with all the things you want to be praying for, whatever it may be. And it, on its own, or you can set up times if you want to, it sends you reminders. It's time to pray for this. It's time to pray for that. I absolutely love it. I feel like it has helped me because so many times I'll have a prayer list, but I'll get busy and start doing a thousand things and not get back to to nighttime or, you know, only once or twice a day or what have you. So what I love about Prayer Minder is I'm in the kitchen cooking dinner and I get a reminder, it's time to pray for Rainy. Like I specifically can say that it's time to pray for your children, for your business, for your church, for your mama, for your dad, whatever you put on there. And when you get it, you just stop right then and say a prayer. And what I love about it is it encourages you that you don't have to only pray those long prayers in your prayer closet, okay? You don't only have to do that. You can talk to God all day long in little snippets, okay? Just like you do your family, you know? So try that app. Um, It is free as far as I remember. I don't think I paid for it. And again, it's called Prayer Minder. And you set it, I wish I could show you on my phone, but I can't. But you set it up the way you want to. And it's amazing. And it will help you. In, and when you're in here, say you're in here and somebody wants prayer, you can go right down in there and put into your Prayer Minder. And it, it will remind you. Is it Pray Minder or Prayer Minder? Oh, hmm. Hmm. Where's your phone? Right. Will you go to the App Store and look it up? Sorry, y'all. It might be Prayer Minder. Hold on. I said Prayer Minder and typed Pray Minder. And just then I typed prayer mander. <laughs> is, it, is Amber still on? Can we share Amber's good news? That's number one. And number two, Amanda, can I share your good news? That's number two. I like to share good news. Are you looking it up? Mm-hmm. It's a light green. And when you get it, I might show them what the app looks like. It might help. It's a pale green. It's pray minder. Pray. Okay, so it is pray minder. Sorry, y'all. It's pray minder. I said prayer, but it's pray minder. Oops, pray minder. And let me show y'all what it looks like. It'll be backwards if I show you that way. So let me flip. She said Amber shared it earlier, so you can. Y'all, we're having a boy. Amber's having a boy. Are y'all excited? We're so excited. I'm going to tell you why I'm real excited. Listen, I haven't told Amber this yet either. So we thought it was funny to start naming the little girl when we thought we were trying to come up with little girl names. And we thought it was funny to come up with different names. And we started calling her as a, as a joke for us, Jazzy Joe. And then I thought, what are we going to do if she has a girl and that sticks? That's what I was afraid. I was like, we shouldn't have done that. So when she said it was a boy, I went, Whew. <laughs> I'm so excited we're having a boy. Okay. Look, pray minder, make prayer a habit. Can I get it for you? Y'all, sure. it has 545 five stars. It's she wants good. to know if you want a name. Do you want to give the name? If you want to, yes. I really was afraid that the nickname would stick. I'm just, I was really, oh, here, get it, because you have to double click it and look at it. If you want to tell them the name, if you'll type it, I'll say it. I want to make sure I get it right. I think I know it. I think it's, it's unless you've changed it, which you could have. Did you get it? I want to show them what it looks like when it loads up. It's loading. <clears throat> did, Am- did Amanda say I could say her good news? She said it. She said her news? Amber. Okay, there's the baby's name. Oliver Gideon. Don't you love it? Can Are we going to call him Ollie or Gideon? You got to call him Ollie G. Ollie G. That's his name, Ollie G. I love it. Oliver Gideon. We're so excited. Um, um, I was on Team Girl, but I'm excited that's a boy. I love boys. I'm a boy mom, you know. But I love, hey, I love my granddaughters too. And I, I can't wait to get to know my second granddaughter because this whole thing has caused us to not get to know her. Yeah, we've only got to see her the one I've day. I've seen her one the time. She was born. One time. And we can't go around her, and that's really hard. Y'all understand that. So um, I love that name too. Did it load up? And then Amanda's good news is 
she had to have some uh, medical tests done and they had to do a biopsy and it came back benign. So we want to thank the Lord for that. Um, God is good. He is still on his throne. And he is still working. Okay, so look, this is, oh, I can do it here. This is what the app looks like. When you get it, it starts like this, okay? And then you click Amen. And then it says, hey, hold on. It says, oh, hold on. Ah. It says, hey, I'm PrayMinder. I will send you reminders like this whenever you get one. <clears throat> whenever you get one, spend a few seconds to pray. That's it. So you get a pray minder like this on your phone where it says it's time to pray for Emma. Would you like to allow me to send you these notifications? And I said yes. You want me to set you up or no? No, we can do it later. Okay. I said yes, but if you, I won't really do it. If you say yes, I'm going to click don't allow so you can set it up later. It's, oh, well, I said don't allow. But if you allow it to, it then sends you to a spot where you can put in whatever you want to be praying for all day long. And I love that app. Y'all need to get it. So Ollie G's coming. And um, I told y'all Amanda's good news. And am I forgetting anything else? Pray for Rainey's um, sister. Pray for the situation we're going through now. And y'all, here's what I've been praying specifically. I don't know if this matters to you, but pray, I've been praying specifically for a cure or a vaccine. Like, a cure preferredly, but you know, they, they say you, we're taught to pray specifically, you know, and I'm like, so what, so if I'm going to pray, what would be the fastest thing? What would be what we need the fastest? I'm like a cure. So and if you want to pray, you can pray any way you want to, but I've been praying for a cure. So we'll see what happens. And every day I'll pray, God, show me something good today. Show me something good today because don't get bogged down in this stuff. Okay. Show you something good today. Even around what we're going through, there are good things around what we're going through that are happening. You just have to search them out or listen for them. So please do that. Now, people are putting lists um, of people we need to pray for in the chat, and that happens from time to time. And we will pray for everybody as a whole. But if you want us to pray for something specifically, then if you'll head to our Facebook group called Hide His Word in My Heart, you can put a post there and then we can all pray for it specifically. We can see it. That's kind of become a prayer chain group and then we can see it exactly. But a lot of you guys are going to start putting people in and it's 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 not impossible, but it would be hard for Vince to be able to pray for every single one of those. Yeah. But we do pray for everybody as a whole. God knows your need. He knows your heart. He knows what you're going through. So, um. What was so I going to say? You want me to pray today? What do you say at Mamay? Just what you've been saying. Oh, what I've been praying for? I've been praying for a cure. That's what we're praying for. So, well, I always do all the talking, so I just offer to let you pray. Not that I don't have a problem praying. Difference. I just always, I'm the Won't one who does most of the today, talking. Though. I'll be happy to pray today. So let's go uh, to God together. God, thank you so much for the opportunity we have to be together here as a community. Even though mm -hmm. we're far, far away, we still can become family and become like friends and know each other in a, in a pretty intimate way. And I appreciate that. I need that, and I know that they, um, those that are watching today, need that just as much as we do. God, you know what our country's going through. You're, you're not, um, you're not lost to it or blind to it. You know exactly what our world is going through. And God, like I, like I ask you over and over again, give us a cure. Let today be the day that some scientist out there somewhere has the brilliant idea, and he, and he just knows exactly what needs to be done, and this all can be handled and go away, and we can return to our normal daily lives. And God, I ask today that you'll give us good news, something good today. Let us see something good. Let us, in our own um, places where we are, let us experience something good that can come from whatever we're dealing with today. God, for all those that are asking for um, prayer requests or all that have prayer requests in our chat, I pray, God, that you'll just know every one of those individually, that you'll pay attention to those and see those needs. And God, that those people that are in need will hear from you today. They'll hear a word that they need to hear or they'll be given information they need to hear that maybe the doctors that are working on a situation will get new information, something fresh and something new that you're trying to send to them. And God, I pray that if there's someone out there that doesn't get good news, that they'll still understand, God, that you're in control and that you know exactly what you have for us and that, that they'll know that their reward is so great. Our reward with you is so great, God. I just thank you that, that you're such a good, loving father. And when all of us are so torn down with our anxiety and our fear, that you remind us over and over again, do not fear. You tell us in your word over and over, I am with you. I will not forsake you. I'm so grateful, God, that you do that. When I feel forsaken, I'm so thankful that I can put that aside where it belongs and I can come to you and go, I know that you won't forsake me, God. And I thank you for that. Today, Lord, for Rainy's sister, I ask right now that you'll touch her with a healing touch. 
that you'll bring about a healing in her body that is a pure miracle. And I pray that when that happens, that Rainy will be able to tell everybody that you are a God who still works miracles and you can heal her sister at any point in her life. You can heal her. And I'm asking mm. that you do that, God. If you don't heal her, God, then I ask you to hold Rainy up to understand what your plans are, to give her peace to know that you're in control no matter what comes her way. I pray for Randy. I pray that you'll be with them as they go through this difficult time. And not just them, God. I know lots of people watching today are struggling financially through all this. I just know, God, you're doing something good. I just know it, and I, and I want to see it, and I can't wait to tell the world how you bless me and what you do in my life through all this. God, thank you again for this platform that you give us. I had no idea it existed, and you brought it to me, and I'm so <laughs> grateful for that, God, mm -hmm. and I'm so grateful for what you're going to do for all of us that are listening and watching today, and I, I just can't say thank you enough for who you are and for what you've done for us. God, if there's somebody out there watching today, and they're not into this religious stuff, which you know I hear that all the time, I just ask you playing a seed. Just plant a seed, God. Help them to want to know more about you and help them to decide after the Holy Spirit has reached out to them whether this is for them or not, God. Let the Holy Spirit touch out today to anybody who's listening. And I pray that if there's somebody out there that wants to know more, that you'll put somebody right into their path, that somebody will just fall right into place, be it a pastor or an evangelist or a neighbor, that someone will reach out and will have you to hand to them to show them exactly who you are and what you've done in their lives. Because that's what matter, God, what you've done for us. And I can't thank you enough. Again today, God, for all those watching, just give them a big old hug. We all need a hug from you today. Mm -hmm. Just a big old hug. Wrap us up and let us know that you got this. Give us that warm, comforting peace that only you can give us. That peace that when people see us and they go, how are you so happy? We say, because our joy comes from the Lord and not from our circumstances. Thank you so much for everything you do for us, God. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. Beautiful prayer. He's good, y'all. He's good. He just is. And he and he surprised he surprises he doesn't surprise me. He proves it on every turn. On every turn. Doesn't mean that we don't worry and we don't take precautions and we don't um what is it that Brother Gerald used to say? He said, We're not supposed to worry. What did he say? Be prayerfully concerned. Prayerfully concerned. It doesn't mean that we're not gonna be concerned about things. And it doesn't mean that we shouldn't ask. You know. The Bible says we have not because we ask not. Today is not Sunday. <laughs> the Bible says we have not because we ask not. And I just believe we need to ask him. And, and um, scripture tells us if, if we would turn back to him, if we would repent and turn back to him, he'll change our world. This is all scriptural. It's all may may paraphrase, but it's all scriptural. And I just pray that you guys will, will be in prayer. Be in prayer. Set that out for yourself. And every time it goes off, a 20 second prayer. It doesn't matter. Be talking to God. Um, and the more you do it, the more comfortable it'll be. And, you know, when someone does pray, agree with them. Here's the thing that was said, which I love. Who said it? Was it, who said it? Was it Jeff Fuller? Somebody said, um, I'm just so grateful where two or three are gathered, mm -hmm. you know, cause was it Jeff who said it? Who said I that? Know. I don't know. I didn't see it. But, um, because we're people are talking about, you know, he's a well. Jeff's a friend of Vince's. He's a pastor at a local church, and we're not able to meet in our buildings at this time. And um, I think it was when they released that you can only have ten people in a building at a time, or something like that. And somebody said, "I'm just grateful that Scripture says where two or three are gathered." Isn't that awesome? Mm -hmm. I love that. I love it. All right, guys, I love you very much. I have enjoyed spending time with you today. Um, <clears throat> I'm trying to spend more time with you. You may see us more. I don't know. It's kind of you know. We kind of roll with every day now. It's just a little different. Yep. So anyway, we love you. If you need us, you know how to reach us at info at maymaymadeit.com. You can call us here at our store, which you can find at maymaymadeit.com. You can find us on our social medias as well. So I hope you'll have a good afternoon. Anything you need to say? Nope. I'm right. good. We love you God guys. God bless you guys. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.